for today's video, we will be demonstrating how to do a phase proportion diagram using Thermocalc. The version we are using is Thermocalc 2028. The first thing you do is you need to open the program. You then select phase diagram. Once that is, is open, you select your database. For today, I'll be doing a uh, titanium example, so I will select the titanium database. The first element you select is your balancing element. In my case, it is titanium. I will then select aluminium and vanadium, which is my other elements. The, I then add in my compositions, which is six aluminium and four vanadium. Once that is done, you click perform tree and you wait for the red circle to turn green. Once that is done, you select equilibrium calculator. You switch to simplified mode. We are working in mass percent. We'll be using degrees Celsius and not Kelvin, so we change that. Once that is done, we change mole to gram because we're working in mass percent for this example. Double check that your compositions are correct, and then you select calculation type one axis. You then select your temperature range. For this example, it's 400 to 2000 degrees Celsius with a step division of 50. You then select perform three again. And once that is done, you go onto your plot renderer, which plots your graph for you. The first thing you need to check is that your limits for your temperature are the same as you put in before. Here it's not, so we change that again to 400 and 2000 degrees Celsius with a step of 50 and not 250. Once you are done with that, you select, you need to change your y-axis value to gram, because before we were working in grams. You then perform tree again, and this is your, your phase proportion diagram. So your phase proportion diagram shows you what phases will form and at what temperatures, and also if you go to a specific temperature, what composition you will get. If you want more detailed information, you can get exactly what used to plot the graph by using a table renderer. To get this, you, you right click on equilibrium calculator, create a new successor, and add a table renderer. You then go to table renderer. You check that all your temperature is fine. The amount of phase, again, must be in gram, and you perform. This gives you the table. Um, it's exactly what is used to plot the graph, but here you can get specific amounts at what temperatures you are looking for. You can save both of these. You simply right click on the image to save it, and you say save as, and then you can save it in your file. To save the, the Excel stuff as well, you right click save as, but here you select Excel and you save that. So that's the basics of how to create a phase proportion diagram using thermocalc.